Welcome to Make Your Wealth Work, the podcast where wealth becomes your greatest ally in achieving your dreams. There are so many misconceptions about life insurance. There are probably more misconceptions than there are nuggets of truth being traded back and forth among folks. And so this is just a little bit of a teaser. We could talk about this for hours and days, but I'd like to share with you a couple of things that, that are on my, my mind and my heart about life insurance. So why are so many Americans underinsured or not insured at all? It looks like the statistics say that maybe half of Americans don't have any life insurance. Now, of course, that's super unfortunate for their families, but maybe it's just because they haven't gotten the information, they haven't taken the time, uh, they don't understand the basics. Some folks haven't really given thought to the long-term negative effects on their family and just how impactful it is for your family not to have your income coming in. I've pretty much heard every excuse in the book as to why a man, for example, wouldn't want to carry life insurance. Well, I don't want to leave my family insurance rich. I don't want to be worth more dead than alive. I've heard them all. If you have a new one I haven't heard, um, I'll give you a dollar. But most people are believing the fables that are being pushed by the financial entertainers. And so they, do, they don't make a, a decision. So one fable that people believe is that you can lose all of your money. I had a woman who was cutting my hair uh, some time ago, and she complained to me that she had bought a whole life policy and wound up losing all of it. She lost all of her money. And when we dug into it, we found out that she had taken loans against the policy. And not only had she not paid them back, which is fine, you don't need to pay the loans back, but you do need to pay the interest on the loans because you borrowed that money from somebody else, meaning the life insurance company. You didn't just withdraw the money from your policy, you borrowed money, which incurs interest. So there is a little bit of complexity that you need to understand and a good advisor would walk you through these things so that you understand how to use your policy and how not to use them. But the most important element is you need to understand what control you do have and how to exercise that control over your policy. Some fables that people believe have to do with fees. Well, the fees are going to get more expensive. The longer I have the policy, the premiums are going to go up. Not true. You could buy a whole life policy today at 20 years old, for example, and you'll have the same premium on a whole life policy when you're 100 years old. I'm not saying that you have to continue to pay the premium, but that premium will not go up. If you have a, an ordinary whole life policy, especially one that's properly structured, your premium is going to stay the same for the rest of your life guaranteed. And, and we don't throw that word around loosely. That word guarantee is so important. And it's a word that does not exist for all intents and purposes, does not exist in almost any other financial vehicle, financial tool that you could think about. And uh, it, it's important to understand that life insurance really has nothing to do with investments. Life insurance is not an investment. You go back 100 plus years, the Supreme Court of the United States ruled that a life insurance policy is not an investment. It's actually an asset. And there's a big difference between an asset and an investment. So if you want to compare it very roughly, very loosely, you could say it's more like a bond. And we'd have to go into the distinctions about a bond. But it's more like a bond portfolio. And you've got guarantees uh, built into it in three different ways. Your guaranteed premium is set for life, never going to go up. You have a guaranteed schedule of cash values that are actually written in dollars. This is important. Written in dollars in your contract. You could read out to line 30, year number 30, you're at number 40, number 50, and you could know exactly what your guaranteed cash is going to be in all those years. Now, you're going to have the eligibility for dividends. A mutual company that issues a dividend-paying life insurance policy, whole life policy, is going to give you the op opportunity to receive dividends. 
and of course, we're careful to say uh, dividends are never guaranteed. Now, we happen to work with companies that are over 100 years old, and they haven't missed paying a dividend for 100 years. It, it's kind of hard to beat that track record. Does that mean that next year's dividend is in the bank or guaranteed? No, it's not. But we have a really strong belief based on track record, based on the way insurance companies run their finances, that there probably will be a dividend next year. So guaranteed cash value is the most important piece. Your dividends are going to be over and above. Another misconception that people have is that life insurance companies are just like every other money-grabbing company that's just out for the profits, just out to take our money. It's really not true. It hasn't been true in my experience. And I've owned whole life policies for my entire career, over 40 years. And those policies are generating cash flow, generating equity, generating guarantees. Uh, without exception, my policies have all generated dividends. So one other thing you need to understand is that a life insurance policy is a long-term commitment. Just like you're committed for your lifetime to manage your finances, to take care of your family, to honor your commitments to your charities and causes and churches, you want to manage your finances, you want to build your wealth, you want to control and build and protect your wealth and pass it down properly, you want to manage your portfolio of policies. And I say portfolio because in all likelihood, you're never going to go through a lifetime with just one policy. It's not going to satisfy your need for finance throughout your life. We will get into this in the next chapter, and I hope you'll follow me. This is the podcastfactory.com.